Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about a very nice and cool application for the iPhone called Stellarium. The cool thing about this application is that it's also completely free and it also has a Mac and a PC version that are also completely free and open source. You can find it simply by probably googling Stellarium here and you can see the name how it is spelled. Um, what is cool about this application is that as I said, you, you can find it uh, free, and I'm going to show it to you and give you a, a briefly overview of it so you see how nice it is. By the way, it's not available for other kinds of phones, at least it's not available for the Blackberry, and I'm not sure if it's available for the Android, but I think probably it is for the Android, but uh, you can check on that. You see, I just got into the application, it, it supports the rotation of the phone and uh, zoom out and zoom in. It immediately knows, thanks to the um, iPhone uh, location services where you are, so you don't, you don't need to configure it. But if you want, you can go ahead and do that. If you press these buttons, it gives you more or less information on the screen. It gives you all the names of the planets, the specifications of the stars, depending on where you cl click. And uh, uh, also, it, it gives you, you know, the different uh, constellation names and the division of the of the of the sky by by constellation and by, and by sectors and if you go here you know you, you you may want to have more or less information uh, they also the, the the thing that is different or set it apart from others is that you can zoom in and Stellarium will present you with a real image of the celestial object so for example we have Jupiter and the moon that is currently visible outside and actually I should go and take my telescope out tonight so I'm just gonna go ahead and make a zoom to see how will Jupiter look in my telescope so I'm just zooming in and you see that it's so cool that it even gives you all the moons that are visible and it's moving because of course it's keeping track of the movement of the planets around the earth I'm gonna zoom in, zoom in, zoom in and you see that it gives you a picture of how uh, Jupiter looks and even its moons if you for example zoom in in Io you will see it so it's really nice it works also of course with the moon you see you can name it Callisto Europe Europa is pre are present and let's, let's try it with the moon so you can see you can check it out what face of the moon you can see what is the face of the moon today and it's, it's really neat so that's it for this and also you can search by any object you can write a search for any stellar object and it has a night mode so it will transform this into red color so it won't disturb your eyes at night and it has a lot of things that I really recommend for the uh, astronomer especially since you will have your phone with you all the time and it will be handy to know you know what you are looking at or what is available at the time so that's it for today and I hope you enjoyed this presentation about this very cool astronomical application called Stellarium. Thank you.